A group of Russian naval ships, including a nuclear-powered submarine, arrived in Cuba on Wednesday morning in a sign of straightening ties between the two Cold War allies. Russian frigate Admiral Gorshkov, the first of a four-ship convoy, fired a 21-gun salute after entering Havana Harbor, which was answered by the Cubans with cannon fire from an 18th-century colonial fort built by the Spanish to guard the port. The Gorshkov is one of the Russian Navy's most modern ships and was followed by the nuclear-powered submarine Kazan, a rescue tug and an oil tanker. Onlookers and fishermen lined the seafront to watch the vessels arrive in the harbor. A BBN team on the ground saw members of a small Russian community in Cuba and Russian diplomats carrying national flags to welcome the crews. Some of the Cubans present told BBN that they have never been a submarine entered the Bay of Havana before. The four Russian ships now docked in berths usually occupied by cruise ships. It marks the largest show of force by the Russians which were long-lasting LA Cuba in many years. The U.S. assessed that the Kazan do not have nuclear weapons on board, a U.S. official said. The vessels will carry out a five-day official visit to the Caribbean island, a show of a Russian force just 90 miles from Florida as tensions rise between the U.S. and Russia over the war in Ukraine. Cubans will be permitted to the tour of free get following the arrival of the convoy of ships, a Russian diplomatic source told BBN. The Russian diplomat told BBN that the starting Thursday, the general public in Cuba will be allowed to tour or Gorshko free gate for four hours each day for three days. Military analysts believe it is capable of long-range missions, anti-submarine warfare and carrying surface-to-service and surface-to-air missiles, among other weapon systems. In route to Cuba, the Russian warship conducted drills in the Atlantic, the Russian Ministry of Defense said Tuesday. The crews of the frigate and the nuclear submarine missile cruiser practiced the use of high precision missiles weapons using computer simulation for naval targets. Designated ships grouping of a simulated enemy located at a distance over 600 km, according to the Russian MOD, Russian state media, TASS reports. The U.S. official told BBN that the U.S. military had deployed ships and planes to monitor Russia's military exercise in the Atlantic and the Caribbean, and has been tracking the Russian vessels as they transited the Atlantic in recent days en route to Cuba. U.S. Navy ships that have been tracking the Russia vessels include the U.S. Truxton, the U.S. Donald Cook and Coast Guard vessels at the U.S. CGC Stone, the U.S. official confirmed. The U.S. has also deployed air assets including P-8 Poison Reconnaissance plane to circle overhead the Russian vessels. Canada has also deployed assets to monitor the activity, the official said. The official added that the U.S. has been monitoring the flotas movement the whole time, which is a normal part of the U.S. maritime homeland defense, and all vessels, including the Russians, have remained in international waters. Pentagon and State Department officials have also sought to emphasize that the Russia activity is routine and pose no threat to the U.S., and have noted that Cuba has hosted Russian ships every year between 2013 and 2020. Still, the Russian transit to the region comes at a particularly tense moment between Washington and Moscow, several weeks after President Joe Biden agreed to allow Ukraine to strike inside Russia directly using U.S.-provided weapons. Thanks for watching. We'll love to hear your thoughts on today's news story. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest news. Your feedback is important to us and we read every comment.